Hey there, today we're gonna to be talking about the pros and cons of living in Charlestown, West Virginia. It is so crucial to really do your research and vet a place and explore, understand what you're getting into. That way, if you decide to pursue a real estate journey at the end of the line, you're not gonna sit there and think, why did I do this? What was I thinking? And you don't wanna be asking these questions after you're under contract. No, or after you close. So, oh, well, yeah, that would be really bad. <laughs> our prerogative is to give you the good and the bad right now so you can make your own choice. Absolutely. So today we're going to explore the fascinating Charlestown, West Virginia, diving deep into its pros and cons. We've had a lot more calls and sales in Charlestown this year, so we wanted to highlight some of the perks of living there and focus on some of the downsides so that you can make an informed decision. It's the last time you're gonna talk about downsides because you gave me all the downsides to talk about in this video, so here we go. <laughs> That's true. I promise I'm not that negative, everyone. It's just, you know, someone's gotta do it. If you'd like our curated list of places to visit if you wanna explore Charlestown in advance, give us a call or an email. Now, as a small town girl myself, I think you just can't beat that small town charm and vibe. Many people describe Charlestown as a community that's super friendly and tight knit, with right around 6,500 residents, it's a place where you can enjoy the tranquility of nature and potentially still get to know your neighbors. Borrowing a cup of sugar isn't unheard of, but you might need a four-wheeler if you're going to reach your neighbor and you're living right outside of town. True, there are some really amazing remote options that would require extra support, but there are also a lot of new construction communities popping up with some amazing benefits, especially for first-time buyers lower interest rates, etc. Mm -hmm. So you may just have to walk across the street and enjoy your amazing mortgage. Small town charm is great, but the entertainment options here are a bit more limited than one might find in the more bustling areas of Northern Virginia. If you're used to having lots of options for things to do, Charlestown might not meet your expectations. True, but you have your great acreage and your neighbors to throw great parties in. Also, the Hollywood Casino puts on all kinds of events throughout the year. And I can vouch for the Charlestown Farmer's Market being really fun and having great produce and vendors, lots of gluten-free options that I found too. My kids bought a baguette there and they ate the entire thing on the way home. So great bakeries. Now, another pro is outdoor activity options. Charleston is really a hub of activities. With proximity to the Shenandoah River and the Appalachian Trail, you can go hiking, camping, or enjoy all kinds of water activities. Plus you're really close to Harper's Ferry National Park, which is our family's favorite place to go hiking and have a day trip. For sure. But do keep in mind the public transportation system here isn't extensive. Navigating around would be tough if you don't own a vehicle or drive. Mm -hmm. So plan accordingly. There are two MARC trains available nearby, so that's an option if you need to commute to DC a few times a week and don't mind a long train ride. There are options aside from just driving. Personally, if I only had to go to DC once or twice a week, that would be some great reading time for me, but I wouldn't want to do much more than that. Yeah. But here's a major perk that might make that train ride seem a little shorter. Charleston's very very affordable. The costs are reasonable and there's all kinds of housing options from brand new builds, which we've mentioned before, homes on acreage, and even some senior communities, both official and unofficial options. For anyone looking to live in a budget-friendly area, Charleston could be a great pick. This could be even more true if you qualify for the homestead exemption, mm. but reach out to your tax professional for more information to see if this program makes sense for you or if you even qualify. That's a really popular program for many. Absolutely. But be wary of the job market. Opportunities are centered around local industries with fewer offerings and specialized fields. So we recommend scouting the job market thoroughly before making a move or having a remote job lined up and ready to go. Speaking of remote work, you'll want to make sure to vet your internet options very Fairly thoroughly before settling down here, I'd recommend testing it during your inspections period. There's many different kinds of internet options available to you depending on where you are geographically. We do have a list of providers to check with and they can look on their map and see if you're in their service area, but that doesn't tell you a lot about what it's actually like using the internet. So as much information as possible is advised here. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing worse than going to sit down and stream a movie on Netflix and you are waiting for it to buffer. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm taking you back to what you thought was over 10 years ago, but depending where you're at, if your service does not have great download speeds, things could be real slow. Yeah, you could be driving somewhere else for your work day, which is not at all what you had planned. Yeah. So yeah. figure that out first. We can help. 
<laughs> if you've liked our video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more interesting content in the future. You can also click the notification bell so you never miss our updates. Now, here's the really fun part. For the history buffs, Charleston is a pretty exciting place. You can visit Jefferson County Courthouse, delve into the stories of abolitionist John Brown from 1859. Do you remember the house we sold that actually had a gate that John Brown had walked through at some very important moment? I remember it. That was a very interesting property. Mm. So for aspiring history buffs, it's good to know that Charlestown was named by George Washington's youngest brother, who was the founder of Charlestown, named Charles. Yeah. And while the history is captivating, the limited healthcare facilities can be a concern. For specialized medical services, traveling to neighborhood cities it might be necessary. On a lighter note, let's talk about my favorite subject, food. <laughs> Charlestown might be small, but places like Mountain View Diner and Alfredo's Mediterranean Cafe offer amazing options for foodies. Whether you're looking for hearty American breakfasts or flavorful Mediterranean dishes with some nice gluten-free options, you will find it here. While you're enjoying the good food, do brace yourself for the chilly winters. The mm. weather can get pretty cold here, and some years you see substantial amounts of snow. Other years there's none, but those cold winter winds, they're pretty much a guarantee. Yeah, that's the worst part of it for me, but I also grew up in a house with no heat and no insulation. Fun fact. So everything seems warmer now, <laughs> although I wear less wool. <laughs> and there you have it. Charlestown with its quaint charm, diverse cuisine, rich history, and affordability is certainly appealing to many. But do consider the limited job opportunities, public transit, and health and entertainment options. It's really all about what you value in a living space. If Charlestown's pros outweigh the cons for you, why not give it a shot? If you're looking for senior communities in the area, be sure to check out our video on the nine senior living options in West Virginia. Yep, great option for yourself or if you're planning ahead and wanna move your family closer. Mm -hmm. you're looking for your parents. Yeah, whatever works. We'll see you next time. Yeah.